our real end goal would be what would be really cool with interactive stories is if you as a reader can choose what your character will be. So I'm a reader. I'm like, I want to be a girl. I want to have, I don't know, pink hair. I want uh, to have, you know, to wear purple, those type of things and kind of choose your avatar and you can go through the story that way. And as a writer, what we want to do, what we want to help writers do is to make that entire process easy. So you don't have to code anything really. You can just kind of drop a character on the page and then that will be like a special character that people can kind of customize. Yeah, one of the things I've been kind of just interested in, in watching recently is just um, that, well, it's been making me really happy to see that there is a movement towards having more diverse characters out there mm -hmm. in different stories. So that, uh, and I, I don't know why for the longest time people thought that, no, it has to be like, you know, very, you know, Anglo-Saxon and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I, as a kid, I love learning about different cultures. And mm -hmm. so I don't know why we went through these decades where it was just these very specific characters because people are only gonna yeah anyhow it's uh... well i think the main thing is uh publishing before was very top down heavy which meant uh, whatever the publisher thought would be selling would be what mm -hmm. they would choose to publish whereas now um well first of all you have a political climate change which is now diversity 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 so publishers from top obviously now have a agenda to push forward diverse characters and diverse stories and those type of things because they're actually selling and it's moving forward with the, the political climate nowadays. And on top of that, you have independents who are just coming up and writing whatever stories they want, publishing it however they want. And uh, if it takes off, then it takes off. Yeah. It's one of the beauties I've found about the digital space is it's, it's making it easier for people to start and, build without that top-down approval. Yeah, definitely. You have like, um, I've seen a lot of people have really great success um, through the Kickstarters, mm -hmm. like to kickstart mm -hmm. their children's book. Um, I've basically been lurking through uh, the children's illustrator and writers uh, group. Yeah. I see a lot of uh, really amazing success stories from independents that, uh, that basically, you know, they have they started out with a regular job and they're like, well, my passion was always to write children's books. They get their uh, however much money they need to commission the artwork, or they try to find an artist who's willing to work with them for a, you know, a percentage royalty split. Um, and then they just go forward and publish. And you see a lot of support for independence coming from like, uh, you have, uh, for the example in the Children's Book Writers Associate, uh, Facebook group, you have also one guy who is helping with getting orders of books in China. So you, you can cut down your costs as much as possible and just order directly from a you know, Chinese factory that uh, does printing, for example, rather than using um, Amazon CreateSpace or those type of things that might have a higher uh, cost. Yeah, so, yeah, very cool. And I was like, wow, that's really impressive. And uh, yeah. some of them have done really amazing things. I'm like, wow. <laughs> oh, it's an exciting world out there. Ah, I just need the energy to move forward at all of it. 